You likely heard the story of Arizona Cardinal offensive tackle Kelvin Beecham helping to renovate his own mother's home some years ago. But today we're looking at more of his work off the field, helping to deliver clean water wells to areas in desperate need in Zambia, thanks to some guidance from World Vision. When I sat down with World Vision, the, the biggest conversation and the biggest I guess the point that I kept driving home was I want to go where the greatest need is. And Zambia just happened to be um, where the need happened to be the greatest. My name is Kelvin Beecham, World Vision Celebrity Ambassador, 12-year NFL vet. Uh, why clean water wells um, is because, for one, Water is freedom. You can't get to some of the other issues that are surrounding some of the families and some of the challenges without actually talking about access to water. We talk about the symptoms quite a bit. We talk about diseases, we talk about um, diarrhea, we talk about malnutrition. All of those things stem from clean water. Seeing Susan trying to pick up the jug of water and then putting that jug of water on my head. That was the experience that, for one, I, I probably never forget. To realize that's how somebody has to go and, 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 and fetch water, um, that experience is, is, is seared into my mind, but it's not only seared into my mind, it's seared into my soul. She has no water. She walks three times a day. The jug is, you know, water so that's a that's a weight that's moving around consistently on top of your head she has a baby on her back and she's doing that three times a day and then considering that there's flies there's dead cows that have fell into that water like to realize some of the issues are snakes in that water to realize some of the issues that are going on with that that bucket at that time you realize that the impact that you're making is literally giving freedom and liberating someone who had no liberation. It's giving somebody and granting somebody the opportunity to have access to life through water. A very basic human need. <laughs> after being here and after seeing it, you're realizing that, that God didn't send you here, he didn't send us here, um, you know, just to, to see the work, but actually do something about what we're seeing. Um, you know, one of the things I was praying yesterday was just, Lord, let me be where my feet are. Wherever my feet are, at that particular moment, wherever we happen to be, um, whatever time of day it is, just help me to be present and, and see what you want me to see, feel what you want me to be, what you want me to feel, be convicted where you want me to be convicted, be inspired where you want me to be inspired, but wherever I'm at at that moment, just be where my feet are. The farm raising amount was $15,000. Um, that was the price of, of, of a well uh, that serves about 28, no, no, serves about 300 people, uh, 28, uh, 100 gallons of water. So to be able to raise that money, to be able to get here to Zambia, to be able to know that we hit that mark was, uh, was incredible. It was amazing just to feel the, the ownership, the energy, the smiles. Um, and I think this is a different type of smile than just hey, I'm happy, but just overjoyed with the ability to have access to water. Um, for me, that was, that, that was, that was, it took you to, it took a, it was a different type of high. You know, I think meeting people where they are is, is, is what Jesus did in many different respects. So I think, you know, in that respect, it's meeting people exactly where they're at. And then being able to, to, to evangelize in a very organic way. Thank you I've been blessed to, to come from what I thought was poverty uh, in Mahia, Texas. And then you see and experience things on a, on a global scale and you realize how good you had it. So for me, it's bigger than just, it's bigger than football. It's bigger than just living a very simple life. But it's being able to, 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 to expose myself to what the world has to offer and how some folks on this planet are, are really dealing with significant challenges. I don't think you can live a faith-filled life or Christ-filled life 
or gospel feel life and see issues that are going on across our planet and sit silent. As you heard, Kelvin Beecham serves as an ambassador for World Vision. I've had the opportunity to travel with the organization, and it does some incredible work.